Symfony Dux. Here we go on setup slash installation. Uh, okay, now they say <coughs> that how to install a Symfony project. First of all, I will just check the requirements. Execute this command. Here we go. I don't have the Symfony bin or the Symfony CLI to execute this command. So what I will what I will do? I will install the Symfony CLI. Here we go. Here they say download Symfony. You can download via wgit or core. I will choose core. Here we go. I will copy this command here. So this this command it will um, just download this installer this file this installer and execute it as bash okay here so I will do that immediately right now core is installing the symphony installer here we go so they they say here to install symphony global globally in my system I have to run this command that I will copy here quickly or oh, I have an uh, I have a permission issue so we I will type the same command with sudo here we go now let me now I have I installed symphony let me check again the command let me run again the command here so now the problem that the command is executed but I don't have PHP symphony requires PHP but I don't have PHP that's the problem so I have to install PHP the simplest way to install it uh, I think with Ubuntu 22 it comes with it comes with the PHP version 8.1 and that's exactly what I want so I will just uh, run this command so the gate install symphony uh, install PHP CLI okay so it says to me that it will install php common php 8.cli and php 8.1 common and php 8. opcache and redline so i will agree on that here we go i wish to continue now it's installing the php 8 version exactly php 8.1 and i hoping that it will finish as soon as possible here we go uh, right now mm. uh, as you know php 6 version 6 required php 8 or more uh, now uh, php is installed let me check the php version here we go i have the php version 8.1.2 again let me run the command check requirements here we go it says that your system is not ready to run some for the project because I need to install some common PHP extensions that need to run a web application uh, I have already do, uh, did that mm, uh, I think I have a website Nijmi Div uh, uh, slash blog in, in the blog page and here I have a command that run that install all the common php extension at once so let me just change a little bit the command so i want i don't want the zip extension is not related for them also the gd extension busy to radius i don't know the radius for the moment i am not running radius mysql is already is in the list so i want the php 8.1 with all the extensions here we go all set go here we go right now i am installing uh, php extensions mysql bc match gmp imbistring curl xml all these extensions or plugins that are needed to run uh, a basic php web application as you know extensions are plugins that write in C that add more functional more functionalities to PHP language here we go running on the command okay now my system is ready to run some for the project actually when I can do all my work my clear I will call it symphony I will go to this 
directory um, there we go I will call the command uh, symphony new uh, symphony demo or just demo and I will the full app and the web app version I will I want all the packages all the bundles that it comes with symphony including the forum to the forum bundle the twig bundle the security bundle all the stuff that needed to run a very simple PHP project here we go now it's uh, basically finally it's, in, it's just using the composer create project command symphony skeleton so you can also create a new symphony project just by calling composer if you have a composer but here I don't have composer I have only the symphony CLI now the project is is created and, and it's ready here we go we have a new folder here called demo I will access to demo and I will open my visual studio code my text my preferred text editor here we go now we have a basic structure of a symphony project we have the bin command when we run the bin console or php or tests we have the config project when we configure all the packages we have the migration uh, the doctrine migrations all the things that related to, re related to the database we have the public folder when we have the our public assets also when we have our main uh, entry to the, the to the symphony application the index that php we have the source folder when we have our main code source main logic we have the templates where we when we have our views uh, uh, that html so all the views all the html will be included in this folder templates here in the test in the tests folder we put uh, we put our all tests in translation we put the tone translation and here you have the Wayne Symphony write the cache on the logs and here we have the vendor where we where we where we install the dependencies we have here environment variables we have composer the JSON and you can see all our installed packages including PHP stand the static analyzer of the PHP we have twig we have and most important the version 6.2 here we go and we have also a docker compose because symphony now it comes with with docker compose when we have a postgres postgres database here we go let me run our project symphony serve okay it says you can run symphony CI install to to support the TLS uh, to run the web server with the TLS support. Okay, I want that. Okay, install the certificate. Uh, I want the sudo password. Oh, go now. The local certificate authority is installed and it's trusted. And now we can see our web server with HTTPS here we go and the port is running on port 8000 here we go so 1.7.0.1 on the port 8000 here we go uh, the problem I think I have a problem of the uh, of the certification HTTPS the post plus plus uh, advanced here we go now it's cool we have our application but there is no home page so let me create our first home page symphony I will end the comment symphony <laughs> okay symphony uh, oh my god excuse me so symphony console make controller I will call the controller home controller home control here we go we have our home controller here we go in the source folder 
that's cool let me just remove this and I want only the method I want only the method git for the home controller let me refresh the page excuse me here we go we have our home controller let me just go to the play change something Move this stuff here and as one. Okay, um, mm, mm, I'm sorry about that. There we go. Th Thank you for watching. There we go. Thank you for watching.